On the right, the Federals, on the right, the Federals were in an old field in plain view, and the 15th Alabama got in some deadly work at a right oblique. Uh, the Federals just simply jammed up against the embankment opposite mm -hmm. to the right of the 15th. Mm -hmm. They were so thick that it was impossible to miss them. What a slaughter. What a slaughter event that was. <laughs> okay. I know what you're Sergeant thinking. Sergeant William A. McClendon. I know what you're thinking. Of the 15th Alabama Infantry under Major A.A. A. Lothar. It's like shooting fish in a barrel. Thank you. Thank you. It all started with a video game. Oh, God, no! Oh, I'm running! I'm running! I'm springing! I'm springing! During the 2020 pandemic lockdown, I invited my buddy T to join me in Phasmophobia. And it was the lockdown diversion I needed. But as we were easing out of the pandemic, I got a phone call from Phil asking me, How would you like to do this for real? And now, here we are. Just two dads living their best life while investigating the afterlife. Welcome back to part two of the Northern Virginia Roundup. I'm T. I'm got, Phil. We got Phil here, and we're at Casa de Rossi. So for our final stop on the Northern Virginia Roundup, this is not what I would call a forgotten spot. <laughs> no, no, definitely no. not. There's a lot about Manassas. We've already covered it in the history, of course, which was mm -hmm. actually a flashback to the stuff that we did with the candy factory. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's amazing. You kind of take for granted that in our backyard we have this major hot spot, not just for paranormal activity, but just for the American Civil War. Yeah, it's just history. It's it's a, a lot of history. It's crazy good history, and uh, we are big, we are basically covering in this last portion of the Northern Virginia Roundup different sections of the battlefield of Manassas, and because it's huge, it is it's a big battle. It is incredibly huge it's and there were two acres on, and there were two battles but before we go any further we'd love to know what you think of the evidence so far and if you catch anything that we don't make sure to leave us a comment on this episode and feel free to like and subscribe and enable those notifications from whenever we put up new content you're going to get a notification to let you know there's new stuff from old spirits but with Manassas, let's talk about that first visit. So this clip right here is from our first visit. This was all four of us, mm -hmm. uh, Pip, myself, you, and Tina. And I want you to keep a close eye on your paratech. Yes. Uh, it's mm -hmm. circled right here. And, well, I, I'd like to get your, your, your take on this because yeah, I know Tina's got a take on it because, well, she's on the right-hand side taking a photograph of it. Did you just move that little box? That's obviously. Be right, careful where I'm walking here. Yeah, it's fine. My name is Phil. This is my wife, Christina. Ban. Ban. Like 
ban restriction? Are we not supposed to be here? Are we, yeah, we're not supposed to be here where these bones are. Yeah, I'm just wondering feeling. Call this the bone field. It was off, off of the side of the battlefield, and every once in a while, Tina will get these impulses to go to certain spots on investigations, right. Right. and she brought us right over to this area where there was just a ridiculous amount of animal bones all scattered around, and it was a definite energy in that spot where we both were getting headaches and just feeling a bit off. Uh, and so I set out the, the, the paratech and now in that clip we see it tip I, over. I, I saw you, I saw it tip over, but I was like, okay, it, you know, you were outdoors, you were kind of managing it on a stump, which probably yeah. wasn't the most even, uh, surface. Right. And you can even see that it's not totally even. Right. Right. But prior to turning on the camera, I, mm -hmm. I made sure it was secure. Right. And it had been sitting up there for six or eight minutes before it tipped over. So... So you do think something w walked up to it, but whoop, just gave it a little, a little boop of the snoot? I think that it's possible. Okay. Just based on how I had secured it and how long it had been standing on its own, I think that is possible. Okay. And then that, that growl, again. The growl, the, the growl, when I heard it, I just said, wait a minute. And I had to li I listened to it two or three times. And the fact that you've got all these animal bones around there. Yeah. It's that that was that was interesting, especially after you got banned and restricted you yeah. know, back to back. Yeah. And th now with Paratech, do you feel like it is that reliable in the field? Have you been happy with it? I have been extremely happy with mm -hmm. this performance. So happy that I got my hands on the latest version of the Paratech line of devices and I'll be doing a five minute paranormal. I thought I had sent you the clip of the K2 going off by Tina. If I didn't, that's OK. Because if you follow us on social media, I'm sure it'll pop up there. But there was a moment where Tina <laughs> said, I feel like there's someone standing right next to me. And the K2 okay. had just gone off just before she answered. Interesting. That. Yeah. We had a, we spent an entire day uh, with, you know, whatever was out there in the area of the first Battle of Manassas, which yeah. was around the Henry Hill house. The next few clips you're about to see, Phil, is me and Pip going back to Manassas. Okay. okay. And this is the site of the second battle of Manassas. Okay. Stonewall is still there. Our boy Stonewall is still there. And the fighting was Wagnerian, if you will. Yeah. It was just, it was oh, yeah. just epic. Uh, you had the area full of smoke and battle fire. They, they, there are placards out there that talk about a wall of flame erupting from the. I mean, this yeah. this is this is in the 19th century. So, you know, to see it, to actually see it happening, I, it just must have been incredible. But we're at the Bronner Farm right now, not knowing what to expect, not right. knowing at all what to expect, and well. Um, I can just leave the camera here and let it record. This is gorgeous. <laughs> now, what does it say here? It says... Because it's Jackson opens fire. No. So, yeah. Oh. As we're walking away from the reproduction, it's, yeah. it's, a, it's like the second or third home that has been on that property. Okay. But the foundations are still original. Okay. And they have just rebuilt the house and it's they're I guess they're getting ready for it to open to the public and things like that. That was the first that was the first thing that I picked up in the review. <clears throat> One of the new toys that I broke out, you probably recognize I Tesla. Do recognize yeah, that's that's our Tesla. that's our new that's one of our new Tesla. players, Tesla. And I learned a little bit more about him uh, after our South Carolina experience. Yeah. So how the spikes work from Ghost Stop is on the right hand side the emf charge builds 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 and then it starts to register green yellow orange red and then double red yep. which is similar if you look in the back with eddie 
you know, EMF of one, EMF of two, EMF of three, and so on. Right. Yep. So that's something to keep in mind when you're watching how Tesla and Eddie here work together. I was sick in the house. Well, I just went around. <laughs> I just went around the house. So I went completely around the house. Yeah, there was a flat line of zero. But it's picking up some EMF. It's over here. I was so impressed That's awesome. That's great. to I see them that. match up like that. That's and I had done a complete circuit I was just around about to the ask. house. I was just, so you did a baseline and nothing. Nothing. Yeah. Flat zero. And yet Tesla and Eddie were beeping left and right. But this mm -hmm. was the first one that I caught um, where, where they actually matched up. At the Bronner Farm, though, we are uh, – we, we're, we're walking around. We're, we're uh, working with – you know Tesla and and Fast Eddie. We're working with Mel, as you see here. We're also working with something called Ghost Tube Seer. Now this okay. is the new um, app. Well, it's new at the time of this recording. By the time this episode goes live, it will have been a few months. Okay. But right now, it's only a few weeks old. And I've got this okay. this extended clip because we've got Pip working on Seer. I've got Mel out, and guess what happens when I say the following? So where would you like to go next? Did you want to let's go back to the car and back up the hill, or do you want to do? Well, let's go. Oh, you know what's going to happen, and don't then you? We can you know where we go after that. Oh, <laughs> I do. I do. Okay, well, we're going to leave. Did you want red? Red. All without fail. Red. Without fail. Time. <laughs> Man, it is going nuts. Okay. Okay. Please, please step away from that. Please step away from the device. We will stay. Every we, we will stay for a bit longer. Yeah. No. You just gotta, you just gotta step away from the device. Okay. Then step, give, give that person a little bit of room. There's something to fill up. I'm not sure what I think it is. Do you want us to stay? It is going nuts. Look, if you want us to stay, you gotta and step remember what I was telling you. Possible. The sky was filled with cannon fire. Look at what Sears created. That's interesting. Otherwise, mm -hmm. we're going to take this as, a, as an affrontery and we're going to leave. All the way. Still going. You're still making it go on. Still going. Some weirdness coming through on this thing. On the SLS or on the. I do not know what it is. And it does. It looks like sky. Yeah. 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 You've got you've got the sunset down. You've got yeah. the, you've got the clouds above, and then, and then there's the sky. Black. It's just full, just full of, just full of uh, flack. That's amazing. Mm -hmm. And that's the thing. It started off as flack. And then it becomes spots of blood later. I don't know what that is. I just want to try something. That's really interesting. And then I do this, just to make sure. Just to make sure. I just do this. So I, I blow on it because, it, as you can hear in the microphone, it's, it's pretty windy. But then, watch. If I blow on it hard, I will find out the breeze is still breezing. So it's not the wind okay. making that happen. Well, no, the wind shouldn't wind set off. Oh, no. oh, oh, that's messed up. And then look and then at then what Seer creates. Oh. Are you are you are you trying to um, entice us to stay? Are you trying to show us your wounds? Because the seer had also been quiet. But Look, the minute we said we were going to leave, this was the artwork that we got. And, we also know what happened. and then Fast Eddie went off. That's it was not a good, spooky. Not a good time. It's enough to make me want to download the app. And, and <laughs> oh, just wait. Just wait, my friend. There's Is that you? No. No. I'm over there. If you're in there, no breeze, but right. I feel it. Not here. Well, I feel it right See, now. It's falling, but it's not sitting There's up. a lot of stuff happening right now. Yeah. A lot of stuff, all because we said we're going to leave. If you are in pain, can you tell us what to do to help you? We know there was a lot of pain here. We know there was a lot of pain here. And we are sorry for what you're feeling. I'm just going to walk over to read that okay. thing that you got. Yeah, sure. Is there any 
anything I can do to help you? Red. Okay, yeah, my attention. And that's that's so that's somebody plan. holding on to the yeah, antenna. Yeah, much device. like mine. Yeah, yeah. You gotta step even further away. And it's been quiet for roughly 20, 30 minutes. Yeah, of course it has okay, been. Step away even further from it. The closer you get to it, there you go. There you go. Thank you very much. Yeah, you love it. Yeah. Love it. <laughs> love it. I love it. Message received. Yeah. <laughs> right. But and I gotta say, T, and I mean you can you can attest to this as well. We have investigations where we don't get a single rampot hit. Until Until we say we're we're, we're getting ready to go. We're, moving, we're yeah. moving on. We're moving on. And I want you to keep those images of Seer in mind on this next clip. Okay. So when you heard Pip say, I'm going to go over here. Yeah. Pip was actually going over to a placard about the battle that I was telling you about with um, uh, where, where, the, where there was a, a, sheet of, a sheet of flame and, and yeah. the, the sky was black and et cetera, et cetera. Pip goes over to this placard. She's got ghost tube running. Okay. Outnumbered and exposed. She's the reading the placard. Line got it. Held its ground, returning fire with discipline and great effect. Fence rails gave little protection to the famed Stonewall Brigade, less than 80 yards in front. Gibbon was pleased with his largely untested Midwestern troops who stood firm under fire. Oh my God. I don't know what that is. It's freaking me out though. John Gibbon's Black Hat Brigade. Okay, that's oh, interesting. interesting. Yeah. They're talking about the Black Hat Brigade. I hadn't actually said that yet. Interesting. So that's, that's one of the very interesting. I know the thing about the thi I, I am, isn't but what was really fascinating at first, I thought it was reacting to what we were saying. Yeah. But the fact that Pip never got to the actual words "Black Hat Brigade" and this was the image that was conjured very, up. Very, very interesting. Yeah, compelling. One would might even say compelling. Hey, yeah, I was going to say. I was going to say compelling. Pip and I now move on to a area called the Deep Cut. Now, the story behind the Deep Cut, more or less, it's our sunken lane. Okay, but okay. it's not as it's not as big and it's not as long. Got it. Again, I'm running go I'm running Ghost Tube Seer. You can see the Deep Cut in the background, right? Mm -hmm. And this is before this is before we got into the forest. Pip is all the way uh, at the bench already. I'm here with a spirit box attempting a, a spirit box session. I do want to help you. Are you in the trees watching me? Oh, come on. Do you want me to tell someone that you were hurt? I heard you say, yeah. I heard you. Yeah. I couldn't figure out what it said I was going to need, but it said I needed something. So the image, what I see, yeah, it looks like almost like a uniform jacket mm -hmm. and obviously a wound, like a shoulder yeah. wound. Or, or, yeah, some kind of wound, some yeah. kind of wound. But I'm walking towards this placard. And okay. I was not recording on I was not recording on Seer, but I w I did get the image for it, and I do share the image that I got from Seer. I'd be interested to see what you thought of the image that I got as I'm reading this placard. Okay. Oh, there's a lot happening in this clip too. Just give you fair warning. On the right, the Federals. On the right, the Federals were in an old field in plain view, and the 15th Alabama got in some deadly work at a right oblique. The Federals just simply jammed up against the embankment opposite to the right of the 15th. They were so thick that it was impossible to miss them. What a slaughter! 
What a slaughter event that was. Okay. I know what you're Sergeant thinking. William A. McClendon. I know what you're thinking. Of the 15th Alabama Infantry under Major A.A. A. Lothar. It's like shoot fish in a barrel. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's amazing, really isn't it? Really intriguing. Oh, don't... I, <laughs> You haven't seen nothing yet, my friend. So, so we reach this placard, and that. Oh, I should also add too that breath. I found that while I was live on Twitch. Okay. And someone in my chat said, "I was in the military. That sounds like a death exhale, like a death breath, where that's the last breath right. someone takes." And um, yeah, I was like, "Oh, okay. Thanks for that. Yeah, Appreciate it." So these were the images that I was getting on Ghost Tube Seer. I wasn't the worst of them. I wasn't the worst of them. Are you okay with us being here? Jeez. That, I mean. That's freaking nightmare fuel right there. I'm not sure what to make of that. Oh, jeez. I mean, that almost looks like an open window on the right. To yeah. Me. But and if you then, look on the left, you see it's got fangs. Right, but it looks like it's a mouthful of trees. Yes. Exactly. Yeah. Look at where we're at. Look at the trees yeah. and look at look at the artwork itself. Was this your first battle? It's really or was this your last battle? Last. And now we get to the wrap up. And I'm going to say a quick shout out to the folks over at Project Fear. Well done on killing your Kickstarter goal. This last bit, I dedicate to them. Ooh. And you'll see why. We love those guys. We love you guys. But we're here to learn your story. Enough. Okay. All right, we're going to leave then. We're going to leave. We we appreciate the time you've given us. We appreciate the time you've given us. We appreciate you talking to us for this brief time. We're going to leave. Good. It just said good. I heard it say good. But you have to stay here. Thank you. This is what I took from Oh, because I love when they do that. Well, here's what I want to point out. This was only started roughly four minutes after you saw that image right. that we were breaking down. And this is the walkout. And I filmed the entire thing. I had Ghost Tube Seer going from beginning to end. And as you can see... Nothing. Nothing. All the way up... If you want something a little less, uh, a little less barbecue. Are you talking about dinner? We're talking about dinner. What would you <laughs> like, my darling? But going right up to the car, Seer didn't go off at all. And that was in a, that was in a roughly a 30 minute span. What? Pip, on the other hand, got this as her final image. What is it? Oh, it's a, it looks like a skeleton. And that was it. But also looked like a skeleton. <laughs> yeah, like, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Boy. This, this is Ghost Tube Seer in a nutshell. Okay. It's and good to see in action. Yeah. Enough to I'm, make me want to download it. I'm in, I am intrigued and I'm excited to <laughs> take it for a test run. Let's find out. Yeah. But again, what I liked seeing was... Not using it standalone, but in, in oh no, in, we were using it yeah, 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 yeah. devices makes it more all the more compelling. Which is why I think about that final image that I got of whatever that nightmare fuel was, and you back that up with enough. Yeah. Okay, we're leaving now. Good. They whatever was there, they didn't want. I was expecting to see some kind of shadow figure or yeah. shadow figures, yeah. basically. Pointing to the well, because I'll ask too, like what, were, like what vibes were you also picking up? What was happening with you know, your built-in paranormal oh, investigation instruments? The, the flight, the the, yeah. the flight function was was on overdrive. So it was okay, but we were we were working against it. We were working against it. Yeah. We were we were 
We were not going to stay there after sunset. Okay. Well, but, course, yeah. but we were, but, and that's something else I wanted to point out too. A lot of these finds, whether it was with Seer, whether it was the, the stuff on the spirit box, the spirit box saying my name very clearly, which again, I didn't catch until I reviewed the video. Right. <laughs> All this stuff is happening while the sun's up. Yeah. All this yeah. stuff is happening while the sun's up. And um, there is your Northern Virginia Roundup. There it is. The first thing I would say about takeaway, I got to get this off my chest because it has been frustrating for Pip and it's been frustrating for me. And I don't think it's anybody's fault. One thing I would say to paranormal investigators everywhere, work on your file management. We lost a lot of footage. There were clips uh, from Cannon Branch uh, that I believe your wife caught, that mm -hmm. Tina caught of, of moans and voices calling and out to us. And, yeah. there, was, there, was stuff, there, was, there was stuff at, um, at Ball's Bluff. The, the, there's, an ex there's more to that summon her clip, yeah. but we lost that. Yeah. And, and I don't know how we lost it. There was a series of ghost tube captures that I had lost because I know I gave them to Pip. And I just assumed, which was a bad thing to do, I assumed that Pip would keep the originals. So I deleted my originals and Pip deleted the originals. And when we came to that realization, we both kind of looked at each other like, wow, we're idiots. <laughs> we're, yeah. we're beautiful idiots, but we're still idiots. Yeah. And, and the thing about file management is that it is very easy when you're when you when you've got two recorders going and you've got you know four cameras going and you've got your phone going it's easy to lose track of all that data yes so that would be my first takeaway on this yeah file management work on your file management yeah. everybody the times where i get lazy with my file management are the times where i'm kicking myself realizing i could have cut out 30% of this Review time <laughs> spent looking for the right file. Right. If I just had it, if you had the originals, yeah. Just, yeah, yeah. Now, before I go with my positive takeaway, did you have any positive takeaways on this? My takeaway is simple. It's we have such a wealth of locations within a stone's throw mm -hmm. for when we feel like getting out there and testing new gear or just scratching that itch. And yeah. so my takeaway is one that to share with the viewers, do a little research. Odds are there's at least one historical something in your neighborhood. And if you want to get out there and get a feel for investigating, get a feel for the, a new piece of gear, you can do that. Not every location is going to be a Crescent or a Trans Allegheny, or a um, Bobby Mackey's, or even uh, a Waverly. Right. Right? Right. But I honestly feel it is those smaller, almost yes. forgotten spots. Now granted, Manassas is not necessarily a forgotten spot, no. but there are corners of Manassas. I had never heard of the Deep Cut. I knew about the first and second battle of Manassas. I'd never heard of the Deep Cut. No. And now here I am in the middle of that deep cut, and they're telling me, we liked it better when you weren't here. And yeah. again, as we talked about in a previous 5-Minute Paranormal, go in with the right intent. But there's a lot of value in going to the lesser explored yes. sites. Yeah, and I think my final takeaway, which is something I've, I've, I've long held as kind of a core <laughs> a core value in this whole paranormal investigation adventure that we've been on is it's these lesser known spots these random locations that Pip and Tina find together mm -hmm. often are the most rewarding the they spots really are. that are, are have never been investigated yep. or have been lightly investigated or whatever it doesn't mean I don't want to go to Trans Allegheny no I, w I mean it's well, that's also we very will close. be going to Trans Allegheny we will I mean we we will we, we will, we will, we will, we will. But right now, we just want to say thank you so much for watching, everyone. It really yes. means the world to us. Also, remember, we are proud affiliates of Ghost Stop. So if you would like to try any of the gear that you're seeing here on Old Spirits, go into the description, click on the affiliate link, and start shopping. Again, thank you so much for watching Old Spirits. On behalf of everyone here at OSI, take care, stay safe, and we'll see you in the field.